just over my left shoulder is a Ferrari California. We've done a number of them. I don't know of a car that needs a CarPlay unit more than the California. The car's a lovely car. They all are. But um, the radio sucks so bad. It's like when they came out, they used something that was already 20 years old. So, uh, anyway, we get asked quite often in the comments and, and rudely sometimes by the entitled to show more of our midway through, our part way through sort of installation shots and how you do things and things like that. So I thought what I'd do today, Saturday morning, um, we're two days in and I thought I'd take the time to show you this portion and then I'll put the video together with the final portion and show you, you know, the finished product. So yeah. This is um, when the car was delivered. It was booked. It was only booked for two days, so for the you know for the head unit upgrade. It's not a uh, it's not a Mark Six Golf. You can't just throw it in in a couple of hours. This is uh, yeah. It take, takes a, a solid sort of ten hours to do. So um, the lady and gentleman that dropped the car off decided to have a system done at the same time. So uh, the booking is 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 now longer. So. Uh, yeah, we've been on it for a couple of days, uh, doing all the sort of loose fit, and uh, yeah. So, speakers are complete, so the front doors, we've gone for the Dynaudio ESA Tech 242 kit, lovely, lovely component set, um, and I'll show you how they're fitted. Uh, well, the tweeter, you can't see the mid-base because the doors are back on, but the, um, the mid-base is on a printed baffle, and then the tweeter, actually with some modification behind it, and a metal bracket to secure it, fits within the hole on the door card really well it just looks OEM. The amplifier is under the passenger seat we're using an Audison F8.9 bit F8.9 bit which you've seen through here quite a lot it's a good integration amplifier and um, great for scenarios like this we haven't got a lot of space so um, yeah we'll get that I'll show you that as well um, it's having a focal iBus don't know why it isn't called an iSub uh, 21. So uh, what's effectively marketed as, as an under seat subwoofer, which we don't really do, um, we're mounting that in the rear area where the roof won't be affected when it drops down, but we can get better sort of uh, mid to low end sub base, you know. So uh, yeah, and that'll all be tuned in with the F8.9. Uh, you know, the original reason the car was in is for a Sony XAVAX 5650. XAVAX 5650. Yeah, that's right. Um, CarPlay unit and rear camera. So uh, I'll show you that as well. Let's have a look. Quite a special colour, this. It's like a darker than the standard sort of Ferrari red. Um, as for the head unit, I should move that coffee out of the way. This is now complete. Printed cheeks, and we've left the plastic on the fascia so it doesn't get damaged. This is the panel that has to be removed to do this job. Um, there's many other panels that are around it that need to come off before this. This is the last one to come off, unfortunately. If it were the first, this job would be a few hours long. Uh, the Sony XAV AX5650 is their um, flagship double DIN, so it's capacitive, three five volt pre outs. Um, it's got a great engine, so it's nice and quick to use, um, quite intuitive to use, and you're only ever one press away from home, so. Yeah, we, we, we love the Sony units and we kind of try and use them exclusively, so. Well, it looks right at home in this car. Um, here's the extent to what needs to be removed to get that panel out. So we've got all of the under dash trays over here, the under dash trays this side, the glove box, um, the center con the lower part of the center console, and then we've done some extra bits, like we stripped down the center console to get the USB in place just through there. And uh, yeah, and then that can be built back up. But because this is having a system fitted, we um, because it's having a system fitted, we haven't put it back together right now because there's, there's just no point. We may as well loose lay the head unit when the system's in, 
just to make sure everything's perfect and that there's no noise and things like that. There's nothing worse than when a head unit is enclosed like that, you have a problem and you've got to dig it back out. So yeah, we, we would have been done with that by now, but we've left it out because of the system. So um, system plans, so let me show you the tweeter that we were discussing. So that there is the Dyn Audio Tech MD102. And that's a, um, that's a fantastic tweeter that. Um, and in there we've got the, the MD, the MW162 mid bass, which I'm pretty sure, if you bear with me, I'll probably be able to pop that grill off and show you. In there is the MW162 Dyn Audio mid bass. We've done plenty of deadening inside the door, things like that. So, um, yeah. I'll leave this grill off for now. As we scooch around the car. So, yeah. Um, underneath the passenger seat, and this, this little lip comes back, and there's our Audison F8.9 bit. That will run actively the front speakers, and then it will send signal out to the subwoofer as well, which will be in that area there. These fold up and they sit back and there's an air gap between the two and round the side so we should get decent bass in the cabin. Apologies for how dark that is. And then round the back, probably the most long-winded part of this job, is the, uh, is the rear camera there. If I can just zoom in, you see that? That's a lovely fit that, you know, doesn't look it doesn't look ridiculous on the car. Um, I can't stand the the sort of the screw on affairs. You know, we probably just wouldn't do it if that was the only option because it it just looks really unprofessional. So um, that's that's about all that's been done. I, I say that now I, I can't explain to you the amount of tools needed to do these jobs. So this is one section of tools for for this area where we've been working in the floor space and the dash and stuff like that. And then, you know, around here, we've got more tools on the side. We've got more tools down by the driver's door. Usually when I'm shooting video, I would tidy up, put everything away. Um, so it's all nice and neat because although it never gets dirty in here, because we run a quite a clean workshop, um, it does get to the point where you can, you can be tripping over panels and, tools and things like that but when you're working on a Ferrari any Ferrari for that matter and most supercars and hypercars they're, they're relatively similar um, you can't really put this stuff away halfway through the build if you do you're just gonna trip yourself up you're gonna forget where you were and you know you need to be in the in the right mindset it's not like a mass manufactured car so yeah you need to take care and you need to leave your tools out which kind of goes against my my philosophy of putting all your tools away you know so um yeah that's why they're all out at the moment and why the car kind of looks half done because it is half done i'll catch you in a couple of days when it's all done and i'll show you the finished result all right Going old school, we've got the iPhone out, the camera's ran out of battery, um, there's not much I can do about it, so uh, you'll have to bear with me. Here we are, you know, as you'll have seen from the previous uh, section of the video, we've done a full system in this, Dyn Audio front speakers, we've deadened the front doors, we've used, um, you know, we've managed to get the tweeters in there in that OEM location, they look lovely. Um, subwoofer is in the uh, rear hatch there, Focal, uh, iBus 21, and then we've got an Audison F8.9 bit DSP amplifier under the seat, which is bridged and running all channels actively. Um, you know, the, the, the heart of the system is the Sony XAV AX5650. It's a car play system, uh, as you can see. You know, things like maps, all of your apps, uh, they're all in here. 
and it really does bring this car bang up to date and it looks you know otherwise oem only the person that's paid to have it done is really going to know that that's not you know a factory thing i get it okay it's lovely to have cars like this and prestige cars completely oem and not changing them there's no permanent modification we do to the car so it can be returned back to stock but it is a huge worthwhile update you know over standard i mean the clients here now anyway they, they've seen the car you know they're, they're collecting it right now so I'm, I'm keeping them waiting bear with me um sound wise you know it's fantastic the upgrade is great they're super happy with uh, the actual sound of the system which is nice to uh you know nice to hear i've had to plug jamie's phone in because you're on my phone right now um and he's not logged in to any of his bits but well yeah here we go. you know and you're only ever how i use this system we don't do um currently we don't do um steering wheel controls and things like that uh, in here because it can poke around with the car too much until i've got a, a steadfast proper way of doing it which is just fault free um then then we'll do that but for now siri take me home it looks like you don't have a home address listed on your there contact you card and i'll just use voice commands to do all of the the random things that i do day to day any calling um any map stuff even playlists you can bring up with just with voice commands and it's the closest button to you you know you can touch it from the steering wheel really nice upgrade this so if you've got california or any ferrari we've got the right mindset we can get them done most of the time they can go back together better than they came apart as well all right um another bonus in this one you'll have to bear with me because it'll get noisy is our uh, rear camera <laughs> installed the USB in this pocket here and we fitted the base controller in there which is set up with it halfway so if you want a little bit more you can turn it up you want a bit a little bit less you can just turn it down all right anyway that's another California this one with a system it was a little impromptu it was only booked in for a head unit and the guys decided to have a, uh, a system whilst it was here so uh, yeah it's been done hope you've enjoyed it Give us a shout if you want, uh, you know, a similar thing doing or you want to know what this sort of thing costs. Info at studioincar.co.uk. Everything's below for you to see, uh, but we couldn't be easier to get hold of. It takes us around 48 hours to send thorough replies. So if some of you are waiting, that is a standard period. It, it can sometimes take up to 72. It just depends how busy we are at the time, but we will get back to you. All right. Cheers, guys. I'm Carl and this is Studio In Car. Take it easy.